live from CNBC Global Headquarters, this is On The Money. The high-end luxury renovation and interior design industry is a $2 billion a year business. The cutting-edge trend is towards smaller homes with more expensive insides. On America Tonight, Mike Hagedis profiles the man who is opening all of those very trendy and expensive doors. When Scott Baxter puts on his work clothes, he is ready for all the heat his business can put out. We're pouring brass, so this will be 2,000 degrees. This, the S.A. Baxter Architectural Hardware Foundry in Orange County, New York. It is here using the truly ancient, i.e. Egyptian, lost wax process that Baxter and his crew turn out what are considered to be some of, if not the best, one-of-a-kind items in their business. And their business is doorknobs. Every single part we make has to have a positive in wax, and then it gets destroyed, and uh, it's, repla it's board, replaced yeah. with metal, and of course that's what ultimately ends up on your uh, front door. It is likely unique enough that Baxter's operation, two years old, even exists. The first architectural hardware company in the New York City Design Center, a combination of high-tech conceptualization, prototyping, and state-of-the-art mold manufacturing tied to artisan production techniques. But what really makes S.A. Baxter different is, well, S.A. Baxter. He didn't start this company because he needed a job. He started it because he needed a window latch. It was a direct result of uh, me building a house and not being able to find hardware. So why not make it himself? Baxter has already opened the door to success many times, taken a couple of telecom and search engine companies public and cashed out with a capital C. He just figured if he couldn't find high-end hardware, neither could other folks with enough money to spend a couple of hundred bucks per doorknob. I just saw a business opportunity. So you start combining you know, your past 20 years with what you know and, and what you like, and. Next thing you know, you have a, a doorknob business. <laughs> Imagine if you hadn't been able to find the toilet seat that you wanted. I don't know if I would have gone that far. But, yeah. <laughs> but he has gone as far as cabinet pulls and door hinges along with doorknobs and window latches, all custom, one of a kind, by order from architects and interior designers all over the world. Speaking of the world... So we actually went and looked at China uh, to see if we could get it done there. And uh, pleasantly surprised, you can't. So everything is made in Orange County, New York, USA, and is seen as a subset of the $2 billion high-end renovation and interior design industry, a subset playing to high net worth folks who are tired of $5 million homes that come with $5 big box doorknobs. As for Scott Baxter, after years of making money, he's now making something else. So is there a sort of a visceral thing about this? Absolutely. I love this. Yeah, you know, it gets, uh, it's different than it's what personal. you've done before. Oh, it's personal. Yeah, you're letting this. You're letting, every time one of these goes, you you know you have to have a ceremony, say goodbye, <laughs> because you put uh, so many uh, hours into it. And, you know, how else do we explain that? Just it's uh, yeah, it's personal. It's art. On America, Mike Hagedis, CNBC, in Orange County, New York. Well, that's all for tonight. Fast Money is.